So we're here in the Sarauts. Um, it's um, one of the villages close to San Sebastian and Bilbao. And we're walking some of the Camino here today. And we have a tour guide with us today, just explaining about the city. And he's originally from here, so super interesting. Can highly recommend, not many tourists, so very authentic, as you can see. So what do we have here? It's an, uh, I cut myself like this morning. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's like a grill for the ears. Okay. So you just like it's it's made based on your ear. Yeah. So they take the mold and then they made it for you. They okay. Made it for you, and I did this in Korea. Okay. Shit. So is it sterling silver? silver? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can make it like a silver, gold, whatever. And you can still hear like everything. Yeah, yeah perfectly because okay. it's a. Uh, uh, hello uh, ah, inside sick. so it's actually very light and yeah you can uh, expensive you're perfectly uh, no no not too much and i also did the uh, the grills but i know it's like a bit you, you have, have you tried grills on yet yeah yeah but but it's not your your thing or what? you have it yeah, yeah it. you want right. to see the rest yes what else do you have nice versatile bag very cool. Echi? Uh, Rick. Rick. Just because of the silver <laughs> snooze. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, you know, it reminds me of the, a uh, little bit like the, the, the rabbit. You know, they, ha they had the rabbit, uh, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know the rabbit, right? Yeah, the, I mean. The one Oliguan has. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's the same so material, it's I think. Like bon hair. Yeah, 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 exactly. Sick. Then, oh, these actually, I don't think you saw them, but I really like those. Um, so, why project uh, the banana cut? Ooh. Did you see them? Or? No, I didn't see them. Okay, then we can, uh, we can try and yeah. we can see. But it's a very nice uh, shape, um, like a banana shape, so yeah. like curved rounded shape. So that's quite nice. Then nope. those ones, yeah, you saw them that you like. Never yeah. Use them, honestly, never. you never use them. I mean, I don't use anything of these. Like, I literally wear like one or two pairs of trousers, okay. and like anyway. Uh, these I like a lot, actually. Yeah, I, I know. So you can try them on. Yeah. So these are the collab that Peter Do made with uh, Banana Republic. Yeah. I don't think that they got a lot of hype. No, um, but I mean, just like a very simple and uh, oversized uh, trouser. I mean, these. Uh, I remember you was wearing these in Paris. It's really. Yeah. It's I like. Wore them in Paris and in uh, Korea. Yeah, and they're not too long. No. Which no, I like. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I don't. Yeah. <laughs> or you wanted to stack like. Yeah, I prefer when, yeah. They, when they stack. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like the the whole, uh, um, like silent luxury, quiet luxury. Mm. Uh, feeling like tailoring, oversized tailoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite high at the moment. And then the last thing. What do you wear have? them a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can we see the sole? I, I mean, <laughs> I wear them inside. Like no, actually, I wore them. I would say once. But and what size is this? The biggest. 
No, it's, it's 46. 46? Yeah. Um, yeah. Bro, you must really have a nice. huge... <laughs> no, a word than once, but I think it's a, it's a nice shape. Something in between. Very spacious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're quite like... Uh, very interesting. Uh, yeah, like fashion item, right? Yes, it's cool, very, very fashion item. Time, like with the leather, mm. it's, it's okay. It's like, it's not too bad. It's not like uh, like the other ones. Uh, no, no, no. The 3D printed. That was a bit like hard. Okay, so just a few uh, pickups, you can say. Uh, I'm going to show a little bit from the new drop we have for the, for the second release of the Spring Summer 24. And then I'm going to show some... Uh, some stuff some uh, some of my friends sent me. So let's start with these. This is actually something, I think I cut these several months ago, but I didn't show them. This is a cargo from Francois Guénon. You know you know this brand? What's that? It's, I don't, I, I don't think it's, it's exactly. Okay. It's from like, <laughs> it's from like the, the early, early 90s, I think. Uh, it's like a cargo pant. I think they're pretty cool actually. And it fits really good. And it has like this patchwork in the back. And I really like the pockets. It's like going all around here. Uh, you have like the canvas pocket here. That's cool. And like the repair here. Yeah, that's a nice detail. And you, you see all this kind of patchwork. So a lot of work put into this pant. I think really like uh, reminds me a little bit of the 2000. Dolce Gabbana, you know, kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, really good fit. I can try them on afterwards. So uh, very unique, I would say. Uh, then we have... Summer Essential. Summer Essential? So I'm gonna give you one, bro. Thank you. Uh, so we have the, the thermal tank tops, waffle tank tops. So this is the, I don't have the black here. I forgot it, sorry. Uh, but this is the gray version, and then we have a darker washed black, vintage black kind of thing. And then we have the chalk, mm -hmm. chalk white. And if it's quite like snug, uh, gonna show the muscles, you know. Uh, <laughs> when does the cut start? The cut is started. You it started see, already, right? yeah. You gonna see? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I started to, um, to eat a little bit more healthy, train a little bit more like, um, you know, a little bit more intense, you mm -hmm. know, to, to get the, some of this winter fat off, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I'm gonna do, we, we're gonna do like a training. Yeah. I'm sure feel it. Yeah, let's do it. Outside maybe when the weather yes. now is like getting better. After I have a, <laughs> a short race next weekend, then I'm done. Oh, you have the mar marathon? Uh, it's a ultra trail. Oh shit. How much is that? It's a 50k. 50k? Yeah. Run? Trail. So trail. in the mountains. So it's like... Yeah. Sick. Where at? Uh, Burnholm. Burnholm? Yeah, that one. Sick. Very cool. With the uh, Atrix? With Salomon. Salomon? Yeah. Okay. Another... Essential. Another essential. The washed grey center seam uh, thermal. Summer also. evening essential. Exactly. Also dropping for this second drop. So we kind of bring it back the thermals with small iterations of like uh, improving the fit, the material is a little bit thicker, um, new embroidery and the back seam, obviously. Um, I remember back in the days, uh, uh, there was a Ralph Lauren uh, a waffle uh, long sleeves that Kanye and Scott Disick used to wear. That's true. that's true. And I was like obsessed with that, couldn't find it anywhere in Europe. That was like, around 2012 yeah kind of something like that so fun so. like the handling yeah that's like that's true it was like the green one right yeah yeah they were i think like a couple of colors the green one that kanye and like, like both scott wore yeah. and then i think scott also used to wear like i don't know like a blue one or whatever or i whatever. think scott basically just uh basically just got kanye stuff yeah <laughs> to use, right yeah all right so this is actually a sample um, we scrapped this one. We didn't do the, didn't do this one. Uh, I don't know why they did it in blue because we actually requested to do it in black. But I think it's because it was the only fabric they had available at that time. So we did this kind of like a cable knit with like the off-centered uh, seams here, and 
yeah, quite like um, the fit is it's a little bit like the the thermal actually. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you guys uh, a piece that we didn't uh, didn't put into production, uh, but it's not bad actually. Um, so yeah, then we have a t-shirt like uh, what do you call it, muscle t-shirt um, with the sleeves cut off. Yeah, um, sleeveless t-shirt. Yes. I don't know. So this is the Moonspell Vintage T-shirt. I, I'm pretty sure it's uh, obviously the, the sleeves just cut off, so that's what you're calling. That's cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, I really love to wear this one inside out because I think the the color is even better better on the inside out. And I'm not really a big fan of the front print. I like the back print a lot though. What size is it? I think it's XL. Yeah, it's quite big. Yeah. But it's really, uh, it's really good. I think it will fit you actually yeah. quite well. It's good for festival season. Yes, exactly. So that's why I'm. Uh, that's why I'm gonna bring this out. You know. You're gonna wear it inside out. I'm gonna wear it like this. Yeah. I think that's so. nice. So, a lot of people been asking, like constantly asking me about the, the, um, the striped zip hoodie from previous season and we actually are talking about my factory and we are able to do like I don't know 30 30 pieces so we're probably gonna shock drop this one within the next few months uh, it's in production right now so just wanted to obviously I showed it before but uh, just gonna let you know if you watch this video that this one is actually gonna come back and it's very small very small uh, amount right Restock. Then a piece from my friend Oven O to O, right? From Somar. So this is the this is a half zip uh, hoodie with like destroyed details uh, and, and, and like paint here. I'm not really sure what what this one is called though. Very cool. It's a little bit small for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit small. It's a medium though. That will fit like in a couple of months. Yeah. When the cut <laughs> hits. In a couple of months, yeah. <laughs> uh, I really like the, the half set right now. It has like a little purple tone to it. Like a gray purple tone. So thanks for Open for sending this one. Straight from Milan, right? He's from Milan, uh, right? Uh, I'm not sure. But he, he's based in Milan. He's based in Milan, right? Yeah. So Sante, this is the kind of like the work jacket. He sent me. Um, it has like this uh, sand, sand color. Super cool. Uh, very like Carhartt. Destroyed to mm -hmm. Detroit jacket. That's what it called. Um, has like this flannel inside. Probably gonna be a little bit too warm right now, but maybe for like the, the cold summer nights. Yeah. So very solid piece. So thanks to Sante for sending sending this one to Copenhagen. And secondly, you also send this pair of pants uh, with like the, the knee slip and with the, the raw hem, right? Like a like subtle washed vintage black, I would say. Very also nice. Really cool with the, with the trimming accessory here. So, uh, Made in Italy actually, and you can actually feel it's like you can. It's quite nice the quality. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. So. Yeah. Then uh, he actually also sent me this one. Beanie for the winter. Wow. With the embossed F, and then. Lastly, would you ever wear these? <laughs> I mean, I respect that you wear them. I mean, it's not really my style. I know it's not your style, but I personally, I like to kind switch of, it up. Yeah, exactly. Experiments a little bit. Uh, so that's it. Summer pickups, spring, summer pickups ish. Yeah. May pickups. Yeah, exactly. May, 
make it up. Let's say <laughs> maybe that's gonna be the title. You know. I can feel. Yeah. Yeah. I like the the wood is so snug. Your size. My size. It's actually a large. Oh. So it's small to say. Yeah. Very Korean vibe too. It's too warm for now actually. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, those pants with my shoes is like ultimate clown fit. You know? yeah. It's not. It's not the one I was looking for. Mm. Not, bad. not bad. Not bad. Would you wear these actually? No. I w maybe at a party. A party? Yeah, it was like a food, like a techno party. Yeah, yeah. But not in public. <laughs> Quite cool. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like the deconstructed, like the collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the back, that's cool. I mean, if it was like this and then just normal on the back, mm. I would like normal. Yeah. I think it's yeah. a little bit too too loud for my taste. But I, I like the front. If you just look at the front, yes. I think it's super safe, right? Yeah, it's very safe. Just. uh taking a stroll here in Copenhagen on Sunday, a bit more quiet, yeah. right? I haven't been too active on posting videos recently uh, because we have been working super hard on the, on the next collection and getting out this, uh, this spring-summer collection uh, the right way. Yeah. Um, so uh, I don't think sometimes it's not interesting just to, you know, when we sit at home all day and just like uh, doing stuff on the computer is not the most interesting to film, you know? Mm. So I just want to address that sometimes uh, it's not like all glamour, you know? Yeah. I want to kind of introduce a bit more of the everyday yeah. life of running a brand. Yeah. So that's the main reason why i haven't been posting because i want to show this the right way so people actually can use use this kind of information this kind of documentation mm. and translate it into if they want to do something at some point yeah. starting a brand like running a brand whatever to see actually how much it takes and uh also to under kind of just understand like all the struggles that you, you're gonna face, right? Fresh just came out like five minutes ago, so it needs to set. Nice. Oh, the smell. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. It's the Church of Cheesecake. Like we, we talked about the other day, uh, I want to kind of involve you guys into when we build a concept, when we build like a create a piece, uh, how do we proceed? How do we kind of, how, how's, how's the process, how's the design product process? And uh, this is uh, just bits of it, but just to give you an example. so. Usually here we have a lot of sketches, as you see here. Um, so Julius, he did all these sketches. So first, as you can see, this is like the final jacket. And then we were kind of experimenting with like a, a back slit. We tried to, to make like a double color instead of having like this kind of uh, double color. We, we tried to make it a little bit more like a, like a double lapel, like for the cashmere coat. Uh, and then we we also experimented with making a different kind of uh, material in the in the front part, and then the sleeves another one. Um, so this is basically first step of how to make a a, uh, a design, and then 
Julius, he sued this um, this early prototype in the Calgary fabric. And then we have the, basically the jacket actually, uh, just to see the fits. Um, you can see with the origami sleeves here. And just the, the drawing of the, of the, of the pockets, one side. Um, so this is basically step two, when you create a piece, then you create this, and then you're going into the, the actual prototyping. Um, that you, and I think it's when you, you actually see the first prototype in the actual fabric, then you kind of decide, okay, is this something you want to do or is not? If you don't get the feeling right away, like, oh, this is it, I suggest you guys to actually just rethink it maybe, or just don't go just straight into kind of like production because it has to feel right every time, in my opinion, but also from experiencing, right? Um, so this is the piece the uh, this is a, a small piece of the of the knit that we're gonna use for the color uh, made in Italy. Then we went to uh, to our factory to kind of uh, source the best canvas possible for the jacket. So this is the one we went with for the for the prototyping uh, from Portugal. So this is basically the same as this one, but just in black, right? So this is the natural, natural color. Um, yeah, so uh, just wanted to kind of involve you guys a little bit in how we design things here and uh, how many actually stages of design and process and how many different kind of steps you are going through when you actually just designing one piece. here behind the camera I'm like trying to <laughs> slim down a bit and he's like oh, let's get a fucking pizza because this pizza is like from Flea Fool mm. it's the it's the it's the name and this one should be like probably the best pizza in the right now. yeah uh, and it's they're all on top as you can see is from our friend Theo he makes uh, the top-notch olive oil from uh, Greece uh, called Psyche uh, Psyche all right yeah. Psyche organic, I think. Yeah. Called. So this is the Enduria uh, mix, which is like a spice of uh, pork, uh, different pepper fuel spices mixed together, and then the stracciatella cheese, mm. and then obviously a little bit uh, basilicum. How's it? And it's also sourdough, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure, right? The sourdough. sourdough. I think it's not like top notch, this one, but mm. it's like very solid. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. should try it. Yeah. But, uh, but this one, uh, yeah, I would say, probably say 7.5. Seven, seven okay. Very solid. Okay. But not like crazy. No, but it looks insane. It looks like it looks 10 out of 10, honest, you know? It yeah. Better than it is. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, You're also a cheese guy, right? I love cheese. Yeah, me too. This one really, really good. Okay, you like that better? I like that better, but okay. I think it's also because it's, it's a little bit more... Flavored? You know, or? this is like a mm. very typical. So yeah. I think this is what you should base this the, if you like it or not. But mm. this is... I would probably eat this more. Mm. They also have some other variations stuff like this a lot of people come here like they have amazing coffee and pastries yeah. and like it's a good workplace as well yeah, we a yeah. lot of people sit with their laptops yeah just pretending to work right so. exactly mm. what do you think really good mm. 
solid yeah. opinion. I agree. Like, around maybe a seven or eight for me. Yeah. I think the other best pizzas in Copenhagen are based. Yeah, based. Based is like insane. Based is. In in my opinion, the best one. Yeah. But I just there's so much talk about this one right now. Yeah, it, and it's much more casual. It's also yeah. like the base. It's more like a restaurant. Yeah, and it's also Napoleon style pizza. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And here it's just like a, a cafe that makes like great um, like breads yeah. and pastries and coffees and good vibes. So. Exactly.